Bob, I know you're a little slow on account of your unevolved brain, but do you have any idea how rare it is to find a beautiful, curvy woman, frozen solid, like just waiting for a big, strong caveman to come along and rescue her and warm her up with your loins? That is not what I meant. Who is this? No. No, no, Bob! No, her chest looks like somebody nailed runny eggs to a wall. This is not what we wanted! What's up, guys? Welcome back to Comics Bob, a game where Caveman Bob is somehow dating way outside of his own league, but of course, every single prehistoric man, beast, and element seems to want to stop this beautiful cavewoman from making the fattest mistake of her life. Oh, I was just kidding, Bob. You know we're all rooting for you. We'll get her back. But she's not going to get those flowers because we need to chase after her on a skateboard? I can guarantee no one's ever gotten laid because of a Razor scooter. <laughs> but like, there's a good chance someone like Tony Hawk has managed to kickflip his way into a pair of panties, so go ahead, pull that out from between your cheeks. Some would say you've got a skater's physique and a hernia and a concussion. <laughs> like, when you're doing a pop shove it, it's the board that's supposed to pop, not your back. If you skate on a skateboard, does that mean you scoot on a scooter? Because I really don't think scooting after a woman sounds all that romantic. <laughs> Maybe we can go back and get that bouquet of flowers? Or keep an eye on that volcano in the distance? Because it looks like it's soon going to become a problem. <laughs> like it's all fun and games trying to touch a titty until somebody goes extinct. Oh... Bob, like, I'm really not trying to constantly bring this up, but I think we both know that you are way too thick for a branch ramp. <laughs> Let's just try to tightrope walk our way across, I guess. I don't see how this is gonna work. Oh, we're just gonna ride a pterodactyl to the restaurant where you tried to bring her on a date, but this guy beat you to it. And now you're going to have to beat him with the 100 kilogram weight. Like, you're really lucky that you live in a time where it's totally socially acceptable to bludgeon to death somebody who's interrupting the mating process. <laughs> and if anything, this should be a good test. We can see how she reacts to this. I can't imagine she's going to be too happy that you hurt her saber-toothed tiger. I told you we should have turned that guy into a loincloth when we had the chance. <laughs> Uh, what? That was not what I would have expected. Bob, do you have money? Or are you famous or something? Like, clearly she's not dedicated to you, so I'm trying to figure out what she wants. And I really doubt it's those Neanderthal nuggets you're swinging around. <laughs> Listen, I'm not trying to say that she isn't worth it. She's quite clearly worth it. I'm just saying we might not want to give her gold until we figure out whether or not she's a gold digger, but first, let's finish off the competition. I recognize that tale anywhere, and I'm not going to make the same mistake twice. Let's go ahead and light this tree up. The whole thing can go off. Really wouldn't have expected him to be a firework kitty, but hopefully the last we see of him. Hello there, spiky plant. I don't actually know if you can chop down a cactus the same way you can a tree. If we did, and it fell over on us, that would really suck, so maybe we could just pound the spines out with a bat? Does that sound reasonable? Just try not to miss? Oh, it dodged! Wait, what? Okay, so is it a cactus or a Pokemon? I get the feeling if we chopped up a Noddish or a Bulbasaur, people would judge us, but I mean, this thing isn't giving us any choice, so maybe we could just, like, threaten it? Yeah, oh, you didn't need to throw the axe at it, Bob. <laughs> that was a dick move. It's gone, and now we've got a prehistoric museum? What would they have in a prehistoric museum? Dirt? <laughs> Apparently a ring, because that's what we're after, right? A prehistoric ring? Uh, let's steal it? I can't imagine just breaking your way in with a crowbar is all that smart. Got a whole lot of security. The place is literally made out of rock. Okay, good! <laughs> now, so long as we don't get caught by whatever kind of terrifying dino guards they have in here, then we should be home free. 
I was joking about the dino guards, by the way, okay? I'm just saying, if we come across like a, a T-Rex with a tiny hat and a baton and a walkie-talkie, then just kick him in the balls and run away. <laughs> but it looks like we actually have to deal with a very lively looking statue. Not sure if that's the typical male physique. It certainly doesn't look that way. <laughs> but I get the feeling if we hit it with a hammer, it's probably gonna hit us back. So let's just have it listen to music? Whatever that's gonna do to help our case. Okay, so it is lively, but it's cool. So we could just be friends and... Damn it. Okay, well the good news is I had a plan for encountering a T-Rex. The bad news is this one doesn't have balls. Oh no, but it does have ball. Yeah, okay, so instead of kicking it in the balls, we're just gonna kick a ball at it or we'll get prehistoric space jammed i suppose come on bob even looking back i feel like the basketball was the best of the two choices like in what world would you assume that t-rex has game like he's got arms that are about as useful as a screen door on a submarine but no i guess we're just gonna have to use a couple of gross ice cubes that you leave in the front of your loincloth. It's a good thing he's already dead, because if he wasn't, he would probably take a tar bath after getting hit in the face by those. Okay, so we've got Officer Monkey back. He's the one who's actually guarding the ring. Do we want to stab him to death with a pair of scissors, or... Maybe we could do something with the photo of a UFO. I mean, I don't want to murder the monkey. He's just doing his job. He's a kind of nice guy. So hopefully we can like Indiana Jones switch the photo for the ring or cut the power. I mean, he's already asleep, so he's not really going to care all that much. Okay, that is a strangely large ring. Hopefully it works, I guess. So I'm guessing now the plan is to just propose as soon as we get the ring back. Bob, how have you gone throughout life being this unlucky and uncoordinated and unsmart? I really don't want to see you get bit in the dick by a snake for like the third time. So let's just use a magnet. I'm sure this thing has to be somewhat magnetic. Is that an anthill anvil? Did we just get screwed over by a pun? Bob, you're getting me all worked up, okay? It seems like I've got a million and one unanswered questions, but at the top of the list, it's how are you gonna get the ring back using the dick snake? Oh, it's actually a snake that you keep wrapped around your... That, that's not what I meant. Okay, no, that's in the past now. We've got to worry about Officer Monkey. Who is really good at his job, by the way. Something tells me he would not be easily bribed, so maybe we can just use a box? I'm pretty sure that monkeys have the object permanence of a child. Thought we were gonna hide the ring in a box, not ourselves in a box. <laughs> you know, like you can have dick snake, but you can't just become snake. <laughs> Oh, uh, what? What do you mean? Red or blue? You got any educated guesses? No? Well, then I, I guess we're just gonna go with red. It's kind of pinkish. Maybe we'll go with that because we are trying to find her after all. Oh, oh, okay. That was right. So what the Christ would have happened if I hit blue? <laughs> I don't care. We're here. Let's propose before something tries to eat one of us. Bob, I don't know if you have a spoken language or not, but just say the words! What did I tell you? Obviously something is gonna come along and kidnap her. It always friggin' happens. The last time we chose a balloon, he took a frog, inflated it by its butthole, and then rode it to safety. If he can do that again, then I'm all for it. Oh, now you got a balloon, do you? And you could just ride that to safety. Well, it, it's... Probably a whole lot more humane, unless the frogs are into that kind of thing. <laughs> oh no, a big rock. How are we going to get over this? Do we want to use a trampoline or a chili pepper? Sometimes you just have to pick the answer that has you asking, how the hell would this work? <laughs> oh no. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, sure. Just rocket your way across. I'm, I'm sure that's not gonna be a huge turnoff for it. Don't worry, cave woman. We're, we're coming. Oh, right. You guys were gonna come up with a name for her in the comments of the last episode. Uh, I should check that. She can wait. I can't remember if I made this joke last episode or not, but there were definitely a lot of times where I was getting Who Framed Roger Rabbit vibes from this game. Because you got tall, curvy, and beautiful dating stupid. It's just not a dynamic you see all that often, but you guys seem to be on the same wavelength, so I, I think we're just gonna call her Jessica. Don't you worry about a thing, Jess. We're gonna save you in just one second. If you're gonna raise any kids, they're gonna be mine, that's for damn sure. Do we want to save her with an apple or a UFO? Those are two very different things. I gotta see Bob driving a UFO or not. Uh, was that not yours, Bob? I think we may have made a mistake there. We wanted to be the ones doing the probing, damn it. <laughs> So what's the plan now? She's in space and we just give up? We're gonna go find ourselves a coat? You wouldn't need a new coat if we had skinned that idiot that you blew up earlier. And you wouldn't need another woman if you didn't send her into a different solar system. I, I can guarantee Bob is not a ribbon dancer, so let's go ahead and use a rope once again. That was convenient. Or not, Bob. How do you not get momentum behind that much mass? How is that even possible? So you are a ribbon dancer? Because that's something I would definitely like to see. Huh. I guess I just shouldn't judge a book by its cover. Or a man by his flabby nips. <laughs> oh no, the poop shack is snowed in. And I don't see how a brick is gonna help us. I guess we could drink a whole bunch of soda and then melt the snow or convert it into yellow snow. Is that gonna help? I don't think you're supposed to pee on a poop shack. Oh no, we'll just belch it open. That doesn't help us get a coat though. It could. Yeah, give me the coat or else I'm gonna stab you with a squirrel ass. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, all right. It's a little pink though. It's exactly the same color as Jessica. Oh, so are we just gonna wear it and remember her or are we gonna go get her back? What's the plan here? You're breaking my balls here, Bob. Look, we don't need a new hat. We need to go save Jessica. <laughs> She's the only reason I'm playing and anyone is watching this game. I <laughs> uh, here, thaw out your car. Wait, you own a car? Why did you not use that to impress her? And why did I not think before choosing something? To be fair, it shouldn't have a gas tank. It's practically a giant dinky. For real, though, you've been walking everywhere this entire time. Clearly driving around would have impressed her. A, a giant cat in a suit and a wig managed to do it. You should have been able to do it. <laughs> yes, I get it. You got stubby legs and well, a pretty small car. Oh, uh, were we speeding? I don't know if we were speeding. Or maybe he just wants a bribe? Do we give him a donut because he's a cop? Or do we give him a banana because he's a monkey? <laughs> uh, I mean, earlier the banana was the wrong answer and we avoided it then, so maybe we'll avoid it now. Give him a donut. <laughs> I mean, no offense, even though you are an officer, I'm, I'm sure you would appreciate this lovely pastry or not. That's kind of rude. Where's the third option of run him over? Like, I'm just saying, if we were a little bit more lethal in our decisions, then we wouldn't have to keep running into the same friggin' problems over and over again. Are we cool? You got a banana. They're not easy to come by. It's freezing out here. If anything, you should die fairly soon. <laughs> He's not wearing a coat. I dare say there aren't too many animals out here that can survive, unless they have a giant pair of fuzzy nuts. <laughs> Maybe that's just a tuft of hair? Probably just hair, which we could shave off? How is this gonna help us with whatever we were doing? Oh, we need a hat. So we're just gonna make a hat out of his ass hair. That guy doesn't mind, and we lost it immediately. Bob, I don't understand how you breathe and walk at the same time. Bob, I'm not gonna drop it. Like, do you know who we're not gonna find underground right now? No, it's not your house, it's Jessica. 
We need to go rescue Jessica, for the love of Christ. And I really don't think it's a good idea for you to hit this ice, so maybe just melt a little bit of it? Because some of it is directly above your head and looks pretty sharp. I really don't want to make a bobsicle right now. Nobody would find him for at least a couple of million years. But if we can melt just a little bit, then we're good to go. I like that you can come up with the right answer about 50% of the time because in all reality, it's a complete guess. Like, what do you think is better for this ice? Should we go full-blown Minecraft or full-blown Miley Cyrus? I honestly want to see this. I don't even care if it's right or not. I just think, oh, all right, bye. Bob, of course you would have to make it dramatic. I mean, you're shaped like a wrecking ball. Why do you even need one? Oh my God, how did she get down here? Or is it just a, another beautiful curvy cave woman? Either way, let's get her routed there. Oh wait, what was that? I didn't even think. Be careful, okay? The last thing we want is to break the ice and her. Oh, Bob, you gotta be kidding me. Bob, I know you're a little slow on account of your unevolved brain, but do you have any idea how rare it is to find a beautiful, curvy woman frozen solid? Like, just waiting for a big, strong caveman to come along and rescue her and warm her up with your loins? That is not what I meant. Who is this? No! No, no, Bob! No, her chest looks like somebody nailed runny eggs to a wall. This is not what we wanted. I'm well aware we need to get rid of her, Bob, but what's your plan? Like, you're the one who decided to pee on her. We don't even know if she's into that kind of thing. I'm definitely not into that kind of thing. Do we just hit her with a shovel or maybe yell at her through a horn? Let's try the horn. I don't even know what this does. Maybe the loud noise will break the ice underneath her, and then, oh, oh, oh. For a second there, I thought that was right, but in all reality, we want the meteor to hit her. Maybe she can dig herself a shallow grave? Is that a little too dark? Or are you just, oh, you're actually gonna hit her with a shovel. I was joking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she didn't like that. She's got a real thick skull. Um, uh, apologize with a present? Is that reasonable? Maybe we can make it like an explosive present or a uppercutting present? Good, good, Bob, we're on the same wavelength. You and I, would can't escape her, sweet Jesus. Um, kick her? I, I can't imagine kicking her in the junk is really gonna do much. Oh, we can stomp a toe. We flattened it, yeah! <laughs> That seems a little rude, but in all reality, she's trying to force herself on us, which is ruder. Maybe Shovel Face is actually a good cook or something? Like She's got to have some kind of redeeming quality, other than being able to take a blow to the head. <laughs> Let's see if we ring her. Maybe she'll bring us dinner? Yeah, she knows how to cook herself a chicken. Thank you very much. Delicious plate, too. Very well done. So maybe it's not all bad. You know, maybe we can actually turn this around and get past the fact that she looks like she previously dated a wood chipper. Oh, you want to get a shower now, do you? I don't think you really need to scrub your worm, even though it is looking a little green and lumpy. I think just using soap is probably good for now. Oh, oh, you don't want to drop the soap, especially around shovel face. God knows what she would do. Why is Officer Monkey peeking on us? Isn't that illegal? I can appreciate that people haven't invented shower curtains yet, but if you gotta whip your worm out, could you maybe turn around? Oh! I don't know what kind of crime that worm committed, but I can guarantee that is cruel and unusual punishment. It did not deserve that. <laughs> Nobody does. Oh, you wanna take a bit of an afternoon nap? Yeah, it's been a hard day of losing beautiful women and then forgetting about it. So, once again, we find ourselves asking, red or blue? Red is attached to the curtain that we want to drop. Would it be that easy? Like, the thing is, with this game, every time you lose, you have to watch an ad. So it actually pays for the developers to make the answers stupid and unguessable. I would be willing to bet it's blue. What do we have on the ceiling that could turn out the sun? Okay. 
I'm not even gonna try to explain that one. I'm just gonna go with the ads theory. All right, you know what? I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Comics Bob, guys. I still think this is one of the best mobile games that I've played in a very long time. I love the animation, I love the art, I love the humor, and it's not super well made. You know, there isn't like a whole bunch of audio in it or basic stuff like that, but I would very much like to return to see how it ends. I think there's only maybe half a dozen levels left. So if you guys wanna see more, as always, be sure to leave a like in the video, leave a comment letting me know, and maybe I'll return to either rescue you Jessica from the stars or settle down with shovel face sweet Jesus I hope not but thanks so much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time